Psalm 127 in parentheses 128, an ode of ascents. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruits of your labor. <clears throat> you are blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a vine, prospering at the sides of your house. Your children like newly planted olive trees. Around your table, behold, so shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the good things of Jerusalem. All the days of your life, may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Psalm 128 in parentheses 129, an ode of essence, of a sense. Many times they warred against me from my youth. Let Israel now say, many times they warred against me from my youth. Yet they did not overcome me. The sinners schemed behind my back. They prolonged their lawlessness. The righteous Lord cut in pieces the necks of sinners. Let all who hate, who, let all who hate Zion be shamed and turned back. Let them become like grass on the housetops, which withers before it is plucked, like grass with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the gatherer of sheaves his bosom. Neither do those who pass by say to them, The Lord's blessing be upon you. The Lord's name we bless you. Psalm 129 in parentheses 130 and out of essence, ascents. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive. To the voice of my supplication, if you, O Lord, should mark transgression, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Because of your law, O Lord, I waited for you. <clears throat> my soul waited for your word. My, my soul hopes in the Lord. From the morning watch until night. From the morning watch until night. Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. Psalm 130 in parentheses 131, an ode of ascents by David. Lord, my heart is not exalted, neither are my eyes raised up, neither am I carried along in great things, nor in things too marvelous for me. If I were not humble minded, but exalted my soul, like a child weaned from his mother, so you would reward my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord from present time and unto the ages. Psalm 131 in parentheses 132, an ode of ascents. <clears throat> Remember David, O Lord, and all his meekness, how he swore to the Lord, how he vowed to God, to the God of Jacob. I shall not enter my dwelling, I shall not recline on my bed, I shall not close my eyes in sleep, nor my eyelids for dozing, nor give any rest to my temples, until I find a place for the Lord, a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrath, 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 He We found it in the plains of the wood. Let us enter into his tabernacles. Let us worship at the place where his feet stood. Arise, O Lord, into your, into your rest, you and the ark of your holiness. Your priests shall clothe themselves in righteousness. Your saints shall greatly rejoice. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away from the face of your anointed. The Lord swore to David this truth, and he shall not reject it. I shall set upon your brothers, or I shall set upon your throne one of the fruit of your loins. If your sons keep my covenant and these testimonies, I shall teach them. Then they shall set upon your thrones forever. For the Lord has chosen Zion; He chose her for His dwelling. This is my place of rest unto ages of ages. Here I shall dwell, for I have chosen her. Blessing, I shall bless her provision. I shall satisfy her poor with bread, and I shall clothe her priests with salvation. And her saints shall rejoice exceedingly with great joy. Therefore, er, there I shall cause to spring up a horn for David. There I prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I shall clothe with shame. Upon him shall my sanctification flourish. Psalm 132 in parentheses 133, an ode of sense by David. Behold now, what is so good or so pleasant? As for brothers to dwell together in unity, it is like a fragrant oil running down upon the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down upon the border of his garment. It is like the day of Hermon, running down upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing <clears throat> and life forever. Psalm 133 in parentheses 134. An ode of a sense, 
ascents, ascents. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of, your, of our God. In the nights, lift up your hands to the Holy of Holies, and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Psalm 134, in parentheses 135, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord, O, ser o you servants. Praise the Lord, you who stand in the house of the Lord, and the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing his name, for it is good. For the Lord chose Jacob for himself, Israel for his special treasure. For I know the Lord is great, and our Lord is above all gods. All things whatsoever the Lord willed, he did, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and in the deep places, bringing clouds from the furthest part of the earth. He made lightning for the rain, bringing winds from his from his storehouses, he struck the firstborn of Egypt, from man to cattle. He set forth signs and wonders in your midst, O Egypt. Among Pharaoh and all his servants, he struck many nations and destroyed mighty kings, Sio, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. And he gave their land as an inheritance, an inheritance for Israel, his people. O Lord, your name abides forever. O Lord, your memorial unto generation and generation. For the Lord will judge his people, and he shall comfort his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold. The works of men's hands. They have a mouth, but they shall not speak. They have eyes, but they shall not see. They have ears, but they shall not hear. They have noses, but they shall not smell. They have hands, but they shall not feel. They have feet, but they shall not walk. They have no sound in their throat. For neither is their breath in their mouth. May those who made them become like them. And all who trust in them, O house of Israel, bless the Lord. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. O house of Levi, bless the Lord. You who, fe you who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Notes from the previous page, 134, 135, Psalm 134 and 135 go together both in content and in use in the church. They are called the polilios, or many mercies. Well, well, pal, it and um, and how you say it, Romanized, poly, e, leos, poly e leos is how you would probably say it in Greek, or many mercies. Psalm 134 is similar in content to Psalm 113. Re rehearsing the salvific history of Israel. Psalm 135 is a responsive psalm with the choir and the people singing antiphonally or alternatively, or alternatively. It is an Old Testament great litany. These two psalms form the core of the orthros for the great feast days of the church. <clears throat> psalm 135 in parentheses 136. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. For his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. For his mercy endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders. For his mercy endures forever. To him who made the heavens with understanding. For his mercy endures forever. To him who made firm the earth on the waters. For his mercy endures forever. To him who alone made the great lights. For his mercy endures forever. The sun of authority over the day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars for authority over the night, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down Egypt with their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever. To him who let Israel out of their midst, for his mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and an upraised arm, for his mercy endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two parts, for his mercy endures forever. And let Israel through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. And who overthrew Pharaoh and all his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. To him who led his people through the, through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. To him who drew water from the hard rock, for his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And killed mighty kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever. And who gave their land as an inheritance, for his mercy endures forever. An inheritance for Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever. 
For in our humiliation the Lord remembered us, for his mercy endures forever. And he redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gave food to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 136 in parentheses 137 by David. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and, and wept. When we remembered Zion, upon the wills in her midst, we hung up our musical instruments. For there our captors asked us words from our songs, and those who carried us off said to us, Upon the wills in her midst, we hung up our musical instruments. For there our captors asked us for words from our songs, and those who carried us off said to us, Sing us the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. May my tongue be glued to my throat. If I do not remember you, if I do not prefer Jerusalem, in the beginning of my merriment, O Lord, remember the sons of Edom. On that day in Jerusalem, when they were saying, Empty it out, empty it out, even to its foundation, O wretched daughter, o wretched daughter of Babylon, blessed is he who shall deal with you as you dealt with us. Blessed is he who shall get the upper hand and dash your infants against the rock. Psalm 137 in parentheses 138 by David. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you hear the words of my mouth, and I shall sing to you in the presence of angels. I shall bow down and worship toward your holy temple, and I will give thanks to your name for your mercy and your truth. For you magnified your teaching above every name. On the day I shall call out to you, hear me speedily. You shall treat my soul with great care in your power. O Lord, let all the kings of the earth give thanks to you, for they heard all the words of your mouth, and let them sing in the ways of the Lord. For the glory of the Lord is great, for the Lord is high, and he watches over the lowly things, but the high things he knows from afar. If I walk, if I walk in the midst of affliction, you shall make me live. You stretched out your hand against me, against the wrath of my You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies. You stretched out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand saved me. The Lord shall repay them on my behalf. O Lord, your mercy endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. Psalm 138, in parentheses 139, for the end, a psalm by David. Lord, you test me and know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my portion. And you foresee all my ways, for there is not a word on my tongue. But behold, O Lord, you know it all together. The last things and the first things, you fashioned me and placed your hands on me. Your knowledge has become too wondrous for me. It has become too overwhelming. I am unable to grasp it. Where could I go from your spirit or flee from your face? If I should ascend into heaven, you would be there. If I should descend into Hades, you would be there. If I should take up my wings at dawn and pitch camp at the furthest part of the sea, even there your hand would lead me, and your right hand worked w would hold me. And I said, perhaps darkness shall cover me, but the night shall be my light to delight. <clears throat> For darkness shall not be dark because of you, and the night shall be bright as day. As its darkness, so also shall be its light. For you possess my heart, O Lord. You took hold of me from my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wondrously made. Marvelous are your works, and my soul knows this very well. My bone you made in secret was not hidden from you, and my substance was in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw me when I was unformed. And all men shall be written in your book. They shall be formed day by day, when as yet there were none among there were none among them. Your friends, O oh God, became very honorable to me. Their principalities became very strong. I shall count them, and they shall be multiplied more than the sand. I awakened, and I am still with you. If you should slay sinners, O oh God, you would turn aside from me, O oh men of blood. <clears throat> For you will say regarding their reasoning, they shall receive your cities in vain. Have, have I not hated those who hate you, O oh Lord? And was I not wasting away because of your enemies? I hated them with perfect hatred. They became my enemies. Test me, O God, and know my heart. Examine me and know my past, and see if there is a lawless way in me, and lead me in the way 
everlasting. Notes from this previous, these previous pages. 136, Psalm 136 was sung in exile in the Old Testament. While Israel was in cap captivity in Babylon, in the church, it is prayed by the Christian community as being in exile in this world. In this context of exile, it is used in orthro service just before the Great Lent on the Sunday of the Prodigal Son, the exile returning home, and throughout the Lenten season in the maintenance service. 137, Psalm 137, shows worship to be heaven on earth, for the church sings to the Lord in presence of angels. Heaven and earth are united in Christ, therefore the church is heaven on earth. The church consists of believing Gentiles as well as believing Jews, singing and giving thanks with all their heart. The psalm is used on feast days honoring the angels. 138, Psalm 138 is for the end who is Christ. He is God in the flesh, and as man he descended into Hades, trampling death by his death on our behalf. He also arose from the dead, that we might be led in the way everlasting. Therefore, we do not fear death, for his Holy Spirit is present with, with us, and we are not separated from him even in death. 138 verses 13 through 16 reveal the sanctity of life of an unborn child and explain why, both in ancient Israel and in the church, aborting a babe in the womb is seen as the sin of murder. <clears throat> um, and continuing on, Psalm 139 in parentheses 140 for the end, a psalm by David. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Rescue me from the unjust man who devise wrongdoing in their heart. They array themselves for war all day long. They sharpen their tongue like a serpent. The venom of asps was under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hand of the sinner. Deliver me from unjust men who plotted to trip up my steps. The arrogant hid a trap for me, and they stretched out ropes and as snares for my feet. They set a stumbling block for me near my path. I said to the Lord, You are my God. Give ear, O Lord, to the voice of my supplication. I said to the Lord, You are my God. Give ear, O Lord, to the voice of my supplication. O Lord, O Lord, the power of my salvation. You overshadowed my head in the day of war. Because of my desire, O Lord, do not hand me over to the sinner. They plotted against me. Do not forsake me, lest they be exalted. As for the head of those who encircle me, the toil of their lips shall cover them. Coals shall fall upon them. You shall overthrow them with fire. Do not let them withstand hardships. A talkative man shall not prosper on earth. Evils shall hunt the unjust man to destruction. I know the Lord will maintain the cause of the poor man and the justice of the needy. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name, and the upright shall dwell in your presence. Psalm 140, parentheses 141, a psalm by David. O Lord, I have cried to you. Hear me give heed to the voice of my supplication when I cry to you. Let my prayer be set forth before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth a door of enclosure about my lips. Incline not my heart to evil words to make excuses and sins with men who work lawlessness, and I will not join with their choice ones. The righteous man shall correct me with mercy, and he shall reprove me. But let not the oil of the sinner anoint my head. For, for, for my prayer shall be intense in the presence of their pleasures. Their judges are swallowed up by the rock. They shall hear my words, for they are pleasant. As a clod of ground is dashed to pieces on the earth, so our bones are scattered beside the grave. For my eyes, O Lord, O Lord, are toward you. In you I hope. Take not my soul away. Keep me from the snares they are set forth. They are set for me. And from my, the stumbling blocks of those who work lawlessness, sinners shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I escape. Psalm 141 in parentheses 142, understanding by David when he was in the cave a prayer. I cried to the Lord with my voice. With my voice, I prayed to the Lord. I shall pour out my supplication before him. I shall declare my affliction in his presence. When my spirit fainted within me, then you knew my paths. For on the way I was going, they hid a trap for me. I looked on my right and saw there was no one who knew me. Refuge failed me. And there was no one who cared for my soul. I cried to you, O Lord. I said, you are my hope, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my supplication, for I was humbled exceedingly. Deliver me from 
my persecutions, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison to give thanks to your name, O Lord. The righteous shall wait for me until you reward me. Psalm 142 in parentheses, 143. A psalm by David when his son persecuted him. Lord, hear my prayer. Give my supplication in your truth. Answer me. Oh, wait. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. For no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me. My, and my heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning. For I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. For, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake. O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Notes from the previous page, 139. Psalm 139 is for the end, who is Christ. He prayed this prayer during his sufferings and death on behalf of the church. In so doing, he delivered and rescued us from the evil man and the unjust man. This man is the devil, and the unjust men are his angels. We are in continual war with these fallen angels, but our victory of thanksgiving is through the Lord Jesus Christ. This psalm is the, the last of the Passion Psalms used in the church. It is sung at the sixth royal hour on Great and Holy Friday. 140, 141, Psalm 140, 141 are the psalms of the evening incense. Those two psalms are both sung at Vespers. Psalm 141 and 2 was sung in Israel and now in the church during the offering of incense to God. As Revelation 5, 8 teaches, incense is visible sign of the prayers of all God's people. The prophet Malachi foretold its continued use in every place, including in the offering of worship by the Gentiles, Malachi 1, 11. Incense was brought to Christ as a gift at his birth, and it has been used in the worship of the church from her very beginning. 142, Psalm 142 teaches God's righteousness. In contrast to man's futile effort to attain, to attain righteousness based on the law, for the enemy, who is the devil, overcomes my feeble efforts at righteousness. But with the gift of God's righteousness through faith, the Holy Spirit guides me in the land of uprightness. King David knew God's righteousness through faith, and so do all who walk by faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. This psalm is the last of the six psalms of Orthros. The other five are 3, 37, 62, 87, 102. Verse 10b is used in the church at the Feast of Pentecost.